going on guys I had a couple of people asking me about my new base knob wondering how it gets wired up so I'm gonna show you guys how to wire that up it's real easy all it is is two wires one in one out from the RCA's I pulled them down low so you can see it I'm gonna open the door it's gonna be kinda loud out there the compressor's running I'm at work right now so all you have is one line in as you can see right here a little blurry but it says input on that one and output on that RCA so it's real simple this is the wires going to my amp and this is the wires going from my head unit so to make it a little easier say this plastic piece is my head unit I got these two wires running here which would be my base controller and then another set of wires running from my base controller to my amp and that's it that's all it is so all you need is two sets of RCA wires and you got the base controller hooked up so I hope that helps you guys out and uh, get you guys this base controller it's a great base controller I like it a lot I haven't had any problems with it all I did with mine is I mounted it upside down, so I popped off the front plastic piece, flipped it around upside down, put the base controller knob backwards, and wired it backwards, and it works fine. The positive is positive, and the negative is negative, and it looks good. So I'll tuck them wires up, and we'll get some base videos going. All right, guys, finally got my new camera in. Well, my new old camera. Got the Canon A590 again. And uh, this is the camera I had last time that recorded bass pretty good. So I'm hoping that we will uh, have the same luck with this one. Got the dashboard all back in. Got the iPod in here. Got the fifth generation Nano. Ah, uh, really good iPod happy with it didn't even know this thing took recordings when I bought it and uh, I also didn't know that it uh, has radio on it so they're doing some pretty good things with iPod now I would recommend it I got it on eBay for a uh, hundred and ten dollars I seen them in the store for a hundred and eighty it was brand new never used never opened not one problem with it so that worked out pretty good for me um, this camera I bought from a, a person used, but it looks like it's brand new. Not one problem with it. Paid $110 for the camera. So those two things set me back a little bit in the build. But uh, let's see uh, what we can get this thing sounding like. My buddy gave me a Basstronic CD. Um, I think the name of this CD is System Overload. I'm not sure. It says in my iPod. But. Uh, Let's see what we can get this thing sounding like. with this CD. This CD takes it to a place where my music could never get it to. I'm really happy right now, so. Still got a lot of work to do, but it's slowly getting there. 